hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you're welcome and if you are a returning subscriber you're welcome as well in today's video we are going to learn how to cut this beautiful organza top with the exaggerated flare sleeve okay so if this is something you like to learn kindly watch this video to the end and make sure you subscribe give this video a thumbs up so right here i have my crinoline here okay and i have my organza fabric here and i'm going to be using three yards of organza all right so i also have my pattern paper here so i'm going to be using a, uh, the basic body that i already have i'm going to be using it so right here is my chest line my bust line waist line and that is going to be my top line okay so the next thing i'm just going to do right now is to take in the quarter of my measurement all right but before i do that the length of my chest is seven inches and my bust line is nine and a half my waistline is 15 and my top length is 23 inches and i added sewing allowance to the 23 inches all right so my shoulder to shoulder measurement is seven inches and the neck depth i'm going to be using is one inch for the back three inches for the front and the neck width is going to be three inches and then i added half an inch for joining allowance at the shoulder so what i'm going to do right now is to mark the quarter of my bust measurements which is eight and a half plus half an inch for ease i have nine inches then plus one inch for sewing allowance okay so i have 10 inches i'm going to repeat the same thing for my from for my waistline quarter of my waist plus half an inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance and i'm also going to be inserting my quarter of my hip measurement at the top line plus half an inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance this top does not require any that okay it doesn't require any that so what i'm going to do next now is to connect all of the points together so after connecting the points together this is what i'm going to have i'll just go up there by half an inch and then connect it up so that i don't have any kind of sharp edge around the side seam so i realized the shape i have there was in straight so i had to cut it off so right now i have cut out this so before i cut out the front neck i'm going to use this pattern to cut out the back first so once i'm done cutting the back then i'll come back and recut the front neck so right now i'm cutting the back off and i'm going to be cutting two of this fabric because i'll be using the same fabric as lining which means i'll be cutting two pieces for the back two pieces for the front and for the back i'm going to be opening this so i'm going i'm going to be measuring one six inches from that one inch neckline which is going to serve as the button opening for the back so right here i'm cutting the front you can see this is the front and i'm also going to be cutting two of this fabric okay so to cut the sleeve i have the sleeve here i'm going to be doing two step of this sleeve so what i'm going to do is the first step is going to be eight inches while the other step is going to be about let's say six inches okay and then you had half an inch for joining your crinoline to it so the wideness of the of this circle is going to be your round armhole okay my round armhole is 16 inches so 16 inches you can add extra inches to it for for gathers okay so 16 plus 6 inches i have 22 so the 22 you are going to divide the 22 divided by 6.28 which is uh, the radius of a full circle so whatever you have is going to be the radius of the sleeve you are cutting out okay so the six whatever you have which mine is 3.5 i'm going to add it to each of the length so adding it to each of the length will enable me to know how much fabric i need to fold so the first flay is 8.5 while the second one which is a shorter one is 6.5 
and you are going to be adding the 3.5 to each of the length to determine how much fabric you need to fold so right here now i folded the fabric i'm going to be cutting the longer one so i folded it into two so i'm cutting the two longer one at the same time so first fold second fold and this is the third fold which means i'm folding the two sleeve together at the same time i'm going to be marking the 3.5 radius all around here and from there i'll also mark the 8.5 length here as well so after doing that i'll go ahead and cut it out so i've also went ahead to also cut the shorter one using the same radius the only difference is the length of the shorter one so once i'm done the next thing i'll go and do now is to sew my crinoline all around the lower part of the peplum okay so i'm going to be sewing it all around here and once i'm done sewing the next thing i'm going to do is to flip the crinoline over okay you flip it over making sure that the seam allowance is hidden inside and then you go ahead and sew it down on the on the organza okay at this point i lost the remaining part of the video so right now i've gone ahead to stitch both the front and back pieces together at the shoulder and also taking all the allowances because i also use the same fabric as the lining so this is a cutout i made at the back which enabled me to wear the top and i'll go ahead and also sew my button to it i've um i've sewn the button loops to it so i'll go ahead now and sew the button to it so make sure you iron this flat when you are done sewing so that it's easy for you to stitch together when it is time to stitch it so i've sewn the crinoline to all of the four pieces of this flare and then i've also gone ahead to iron it so the next thing is to gather the excesses the excess i have around there and once i'm done i'll go ahead and stitch it around the ham hole of this blouse you must have stitched all your seam allowance at the side before stitching this to the armhole so guys this is the end result of our organza top and i hope you enjoyed this video this top is very very easy to make and please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel like and share this video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so guys i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye